Hello. You doing all right? I'm very tired. Oh, I can only imagine. I saw the pictures in the seas of humanity, and I can only hope that, from an economic standpoint, that they were all passing in front of your booth and and giving you riches beyond the dreams of avarice. But uh, yeah, I can only imagine. I'm glad to be back. We've been we've been off for a couple of weeks, so we're we're back and we're right where we left off. Let's see, we had our great trilogy of the Battle of Ad Decimum split into three parts because it was so exciting. And the Vandals kind of took it on the chin there against Belisarius. So let's tell you a little bit about tonight, where Gelimer decides it ain't over yet. Tonight, it's the Battle of Tricamerum from 533 AD. The defeat at Ad Decimum did not deter Gelimer. And shortly after his brother Zazon returned from putting down a rebellion in Sardinia, the two marched on Belisarius, who now occupied Carthage. Gathering intelligence from his spies, Gelimer attempted to bribe the Huns in the Byzantine army, but Belisarius learned of this intrigue and made a larger offer. Belisarius knew the Huns felt that they had been sent to North Africa after being promised duty closer to their lands and could still be persuaded to change sides. Therefore, Belisarius decided to bring the enemy to battle before any treachery could commence. Count John was sent ahead with the cavalry carrying orders to skirmish until the infantry arrived. The Huns rode in the rear of the cavalry column and were stationed well away when the Byzantines made camp on the far side of the creek from the Vandal camp. The next day, Gelimer led out his army and deployed for battle. John stationed himself with the center division and crossed the small stream with small contingents and skirmished several times, but each time had to retreat from larger Vandal pursuit forces. For their part, the Vandals would not pursue John across the stream. Instead, they would stop at the bank and retire. Zazon and several other Vandal nobles had perished in these skirmishes, and the Vandal army was starting to lose heart. When Belisarius arrived and assessed the situation, he changed his mind and ordered the entire cavalry force to attack without waiting for the infantry. The Vandals, now in disarray, were pursued back to their camp. The Huns waited to see which side won and joined the Byzantines in pursuing the Vandals. Belisarius waited for his infantry to arrive before moving on the Vandal camp. Gelimer, seeing the camp being surrounded, escaped into the mountains. And there we go. So why don't you tell us all about the exciting elements of our War Council tonight. So look at the War Council tonight. We are playing to six victory banners. The Vandal player will have command cards, but only two inspired action tokens. The Byzantine player will have five command cards, four inspired action tokens, and we'll get to move first. There are some special rules tonight. After a player has third victory banner, the three more light cavalry units for the Vandal player, three Hun light cavalry units for the Byzantine player are placed on the battlefield in the hexes in at the start of the player's next turn. Vandal, medium, and heavy cavalry units are not armed with bows, while the Byzantine cavalry are armed with bows, and the stream that bisects the bull does not stop movement. However, any charge bonus dice when a unit starts, ends, or moves. So there we go. Well, good. Uh, that sounds... Uh, I, I like the, the idea of reinforcements coming from off the side of the map. We do have some terrain as a factor tonight, which we have not seen in a little while. We do have a fordable river here across the middle, as, as per the historical notes. Just to review that, anything attacking into shooting or melee attack with two dice. Anybody that's on the river hex and attacking out in melee will be two dice as per usual, but if they're using ranged combat, well, then they're just reduced down to one die, which may not be a factor anyway. And of course it does not block line of sight because it's a river. And then we have camps way up there on the Vandal side. They do uh, allow you to ignore a flag if you're the defender inside. And of course units entering into it must stop. Battling into is uh, two dice. Battling 
out if you are if you're the camp owner you get to ma battle with a maximum of three dice however if you're an enemy occupying that camp and you're battling out well you only get to battle out with two dice so that's all we have on that should be quite the little dust up here tonight i think you're going first so why don't you grab your cards I have my five cards. And I get five as well. Two, three, four, and five. I have them. So let me wish you the best of luck. Thank you, and you as well. Why, thank you. I need my cheat sheets here, because it's been a few weeks. <laughs> I was thinking the um, same thing. So I am going to... Order two units in the center. Those two. Oh, ooh, here comes Cal John. Gonna shoot at me? Are you? Are you? Hmm? I guess I could shoot at you. Nothing. Well... I guess I will take a note from your playbook here and do leadership any section. And it will be these units right here. And I will spend a leadership token for a mounted charge. And so we get to go three hexes now. One, two, one, two, one, two, and three. Let's see if they can test their metal against the super heavy cataphract cavalry. Let's start over here. It's going to be plus one, so I will get f five dice now for the charge plus leader bonus. So you get to ignore one of those swords. Take the other two. All right, here you back with four dice. All right, away, away with you. Away. One, two, three, and four. We'll come over here and attack on this flank. What would that medium like to do? He'll stand. He what? Or yeah. dice rolling can do tonight. We got mad respect for these medium cavalry. All right, here's uh, five dice plus leader bonus. And just two. Wow. And two in return. Indeed. After the sword is ignored. Okay. Well, let's see if our general here can finish this super heavy bow cavalry now with five dice plus leader once again Ooh -hoo. I'll do it uh -huh. he's a heavy so he can advance move one battle again so we will give it to Count John here it's uh, four dice now Plus leader. You can't duplicate that roll. I wish. Let's see. No. Just one. But here's a leader check. He's fine. Four dice back. Two. And a leader check. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. That is all for me. Forward. Those units. John's going to try and finish off Trazon. All right, four dice. Punishing. Fatality bonus. Oh, wait, I better not say that. <laughs> okay. Your leader lives. 
You wish to come forward and be recognized? Yes. Have a few weeks off giving you fresh perspective on the possibility of ambush? Okay. All right. Four dice. Oh. Cut down. Might want to get that flag ready for the cavalry. And then three. The medium cavalry is three dice. They'll fire. Ooh, get a hit. Dang. This cavalry unit didn't move, so I'll get to fire two dice. Since they held. Also got a hit. All right, we're done. Eating my lunch. Let's cry havoc. Cry havoc. And let's slip the dogs of war. Let's see what five dice get me. Uh, all right, a smattering of everything, except for the lights, which I do not have yet. So, okay. So, he will come to there. Gold. He will come to there. Come to there. Eh, might as well come forward. Uh, and... Go there. All right. Let's start with this. It's going to be three dice, straight up. Get two. Remember, you get an additional die. Oh, that's right. I get my Cry Havoc die. That's right. Okay, so here's one more. And a hit. Three hits. Three dice back. Hit and a retreat. Over here, uh, here's the four dice for Cry Havoc. Two hits and a retreat. And we will stay right there. And then here. It's going to be five dice plus leader. Uh, yeah, we'll do five dice. Getting two hits. Four dice back. Mm. Three hits. Let me do my leader check on you first. Yeah, I was about to say we miss our leader checks. He's fine. I'm fine. And fine. And now I will we each get an inspired action token. And reshuffle the deck. And draw. A scout with John here is going to attack. I'm going to spend my battle bonus just to be sure. Here are five dice. I pout. That was sure. Satan lives. Season falls back. All right. I gain an inspired action token, so I'm back up to five. I draw two command cards. Pick one, discard the other. Well, I hate to use it like this, but I gotta, gotta take the opportunity while I can. So, leadership center. Season's on. Activate. I will do a mounted charge. And 
he will attack. Five dice plus leader. Whew, just barely. How fares Count John? He lives. And things heavy will advance into there. Move one more. Battle again with normal dice this time. What would they like to do? Elevate away. Right. So here is four dice looking for two blues. I get one blue. Okay, uh, that is all. You may now place your arrived lights. True. Sure. I'm going to counterattack your leadership. And here we go. They're going to travel. One, two, one. Come on, John. Come on, the party. All right. Since they charge through the stream, there's no point in spending the token on mounted charge because I wouldn't get the bonus anyway. Correct. So I'll just bank that. Inspire action token and attack you as normal. So here we go, throwing ourselves against you in a vain effort. Nothing. Mm, okay, there's two in with leader. Mm. Okay, John's attacking now. Nothing. Oh, nope. Got a red block. Got a red block. Here's leader check. Nothing. Okay. Here's two back. Uh, one. Here's leader check on John. Nope. Wrong symbol. Okay, I'll ignore the flag. And here we go. Three dice for these guys. They're on the ground. One hit. And uh, leader check. Oh, nothing. Yep. And Zazon gives back four dice plus leader. Here we go. Okay, my token. I'll do three on the right. Do these three. Get Gillimer into the game here. Got to go one, two, three. One, one, and two. Okay. Can't finish them with three dice. Nope. Three dice back. Two hits. And let's see if we can finish them with three dice. We do. You wish to advance? Um, nah, that's fine. Uh, I could have brought mine up, so I will should have brought those in. There we go. Scout. You seem to be flush with the scout cards. I had two of them. Solomon's going to move here and attack your medium cavalry. What would it like to do? Oh, they will flee. Four dice. Of course. Cut down. Okay. 
Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do three in the center. Start with here. And it's going to be four dice plus leader. Just one. Leader check. It's fine. Four dice back. Ah. Should know a losing proposition. And there you go. <laughs> Even as I said it, I'm like, you're going to lose all. Ah, that was foolhardy. Why did I do that? I just figured I had a better shot on Solomon than I did, you know, hacking into the into the river there. So, that ah, was last-ditch effort, but that was good. It was a little rough, a little rusty, but on the whole, still fun. I like that it went back and forth. It's like, charge forward, charge back, charge forward. All right, we will uh, take our break. We'll be right back. And we have returned. It's my my chance to play the Byzantines. I will take the Vandals. Let's see if I can get seven inspired action tokens and, and just win anyway without using them. Harumph. I spent one. Well, that's true. All right, I got my five cards. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do forward. Forward! Forward! But we're gonna. Bring one, two. One and two. One and two. All right, let's shoot some bows. We get one die on your heavy cavalry there. Nothing. Get another die on that heavy cavalry. Nothing. Get a die on this heavy cavalry. Nothing. And finally, this cavalry. Nothing. Three on the right. Those three. Median troops. Uh-oh. Someone's saying up for a line advance. Okay. Two on the left. These two. Over to you. We'll do leadership left section. These three, or four, I will spend an inspired action token for a mounted charge. We'll go one, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Start 
here. Go okay, with that one. So we're going to have four dice plus leader bonus. Getting two. Three dice back. As well. Solomon will attempt to finish them with five dice plus leader. They do. He will advance, come right back. But we'll go after this one here. What would they like to do? Millivade. Okay, so now back to four dice looking for triangles. No triangles. And then the only one that's left is this guy. He's got four dice on that heavy cavalry plus leader. And gets nothing. Nothing! Four dice back. Ooh. Well, Patrick yeah. roll. Yeah, that's so appropriate on so many levels. Let's just take all these back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the hit, and it eliminates. Uh, and that is all for that failed mounted charge. Fine charge. Two on the right. Those two. Actually. There. I'll go there. Medium cavalry against the medium bow cavalry. Three dice. Lost the leader. All right. I think I'm going to spend one of my few tokens here on a battle bonus. Roll five dice against Solomon. Oh, this game hates me, man. Just hates me. Well done. I am, I am giving you mad claps on that one. Solomon watches the horse flesh as he runs back to the river. That will bring my reinforcements on it, too. Throughout my next turn. Yep. Uh, I feel like the only appropriate measure to react on that is... Cry Havoc? Uh, no, Leadership Center. That works too. And we'll activate these four units. I will charge once again! Because it has to work sometime. Mount a charge. So we're going to go one, two, three... We'll start down the rain here. Going to have four dice on this one. Okay. Two and Oof. a treat. Spend my last token on bravery and fight you back with three dice. Two. We will now have the same target attacked. Four dice plus leader. Just barely. He will advance. Come back. Battle this one. Now with the regular three dice plus leader. 
Hmm, sending him away. Here with five dice plus leader. Three. Four dice back. Three as well. As you ignore my sword. Mm -hmm. Man. Okay, come on, Count John. Let's see what you can do. Four dice, uh, five dice plus leader. That does it. Mm -hmm. We'll charge in. Battle Zezon with four dice plus leader. Getting just one. I really need to learn my lessons, but I'm not. Four dice back. <sighs> I mean, all I can do is laugh. This is great. My favorite. Uh, let me get a leader check on you. He's fine. And he's fine. He's fine. Okay. Well, brutal. Three in the center. Those three. Four dice on your super heavy. And four dice on John. The likes of which has never been seen. The town survives. For the moment. To the river. Okay. Order my medium troops. That's all I have left. Let's look at Belisarius down there. And we both forgot to bring our oh, yeah. reinforcements on. Okay. There you go. Actually, you know what? All right. Desperate charge. There's three dice. Send them packing. But hopefully, it'll be academic here momentarily. Because uh, we're going to come in, see if we can kill him. Three more dice. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. And over here, three dice on him. Hit and retreat. One, two, three. And we'll go advance and one. Battle again. Three more dice. Right. Well done. All knotted up, folks. Sudden death time. Right. For this, I will pay. Mightily. Leaders. You know damn leader cards. No, I'm acting on my two leaders. Gilmer attacking with five dice. Evade. Well evaded. More importantly, I gain an inspired action token. Two, three on the right. We'll just do two. All right. Attack with three dice. 
Getting one. Uh, no hits. None. Two dice back. Nothing. And three dice once again. Nothing. Nothing. Or are those light troops into action? Damn it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Overwhelming. All right. First strike! <laughs> we sprung the trap. Three days. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, come on. All right, two dice against that medium bow cavalry. There you go. Well done. That was exciting in an unfortunate sort of way because I I mean, I could chuck a bucket of dice at a broadside of a barn and I'm not going to hit a wet mouse. I don't know. Pick pick a simile. It's it's just it's all all crappy. But you came back. I did come you back. Well no, I, up. I kept it interesting. So our final score tonight, the magic number is appearing right now. Peter got six in this game, and I kept it close. So a difference of one. The last one, he also had six, and I had 12 to nine. This is, I, I think, if I, if I recall correctly, let me, uh, let me check my, uh, my notes here. I believe we have now, we have finished all the storyline here with the Vandals in Northern Africa, and we're going to set our sights next week back over on the Sassanids in uh, in the Eastern Empire. Any thoughts? Um, It's very cavalry heavy, so my foot onslaught car just sat in my hand and did nothing. Same. But it was all right. The, the stream was a nice, interesting twist but it didn't really come into play except for in our first game where i was stuck in the stream for a turn and this one was fine the reinforcements didn't do anything except for for me at the very end um it's just so hard when units come in and they're on that back hex like that like balisarius does nothing in either game and it hurts me because i had nine chances nine dice to get one flag that's all I needed, just one flag, and uh, I, I was unable to do so. So, though dice gods mock me yet again, even after a little break, that's okay. Um, yeah, I like this one too. It's, it, I mean, it's not my favorite one, but the stream, I think, it would be a completely different scenario, of course, if it used the standard fordable stream rules where you had to stop. But being historically allowed to just blow through there, that obviously changed things for the setup uh, right out of the gate for for the byzantines the camps had no effect whatsoever i don't know that they would be anything other than window dressing on this one so um i give it probably a three out of five which is to say it's fine it's perfectly serviceable but it was not my favorite one so far i just don't think that the stakes are high enough although it was exciting for us at the end uh, that's just because of my poor dice rolling tonight so it got my hopes up and then dashed them on the rocks but and the byzantines with three leaders up front yeah really have an edge too John can do no wrong, but I mean, <laughs> they're sitting there right now for me unhorsed. So that I think that is the challenge of this one is if, you know, I did two mounted charges and if they are not completely successful by the numbers, then you and you, and you had some fantastic defensive roles, then I am now left at your mercy on your next turn immediately, which this is that's true of everything. Anytime you put a heavy or a medium in commands and colors and you go in there for, and you push all those chips in, you better kill him because if you don't kill him, and he's going to come right back and wipe you out because I, I, I was down to one and two blocks on every one of those and it was just a mop up for you. Just boom, there you go. But uh, we will move forward. Thank you, everybody, for watching and sticking with us. We had a couple people post that, hey, where are you? And I tried to, to fill in some stuff with some other episodes of things that were in the editing hopper. So 
if ever we take some time off, I try to keep the content flowing. But for all of you out there that, that ask and support the channel and post on all individual videos, please continue to do so. We really appreciate it. It is a labor of love, and, and we're a little rusty tonight, to be sure. But we are back at it. So thank you once again for all the support. I'm showing you all the people that support the channel financially. Thank you very much for all of you who do that. Don't feel obligated, but if you do, that's cool. There's a link below if you want to. But the best way to do it is to just engage with us either on social media or leaving comments below and clicking the like and subscribe. And I actually learned something. I'm listening to a podcast, which is fantastic, and he puts a little thing, a little bumper at the end. He says, hey, if you just tell one friend about this that you think would like it, that's the best way to get any creative series out into the zeitgeist. So if you know somebody that's not watching this, tell them about it. That personal recommendation might make all the difference. Peter, final thoughts for the night. I think you've covered it all. I think you're still tired, aren't you? And, and I am still very tired. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad to have you back. So we will see you next week. All right. Have a good night.